Hi guys, this is Hamilcar, bringing you a set from the Pro League played recently between CJ Entis and STX Soul. And uh, if you haven't already seen it, um, this is the uh, second video I've posted since I've been back from my long hiatus. The first was a single game from a set between Oz and Samsung Khan, uh, between Jadong and Great, which turned into a really, really long, epic 24-minute ZBZ. Um, so if you haven't already seen that, uh, go back and watch that. Um, I won't spoil it now, but it's a great game. It's worth watching. Um, and you see some uh, very impressive play from both players. But at any rate, um, now that I got that under my belt um, and uh, got a little bit back into the swing of things, I thought I'd take a uh, stab at doing a whole set. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, these are two pretty good teams, uh, fair to middling, I think, in the standings. CJ, CJ Antis actually is, is uh, well above fair to middling um, when their players are uh, are playing well. I, I don't know exactly where they are in the standings right now, but in any event, uh, the player that they're sending out now, great, is uh, is a very good player, uh, very, sort of recent up and comer, but uh, his record is standing at well over fifty or well over sixty percent. Um, this uh, matchup, this is a ZVT, um, it's actually his worst, he's at 60.71% in ZVT, uh, 17 and 11, I don't know if that includes this game, um, but uh, in his other matchups, he's 61 and 66%, um, so, uh, you know, not shabby at all in any of those, um, and he's played a significant number of games, he's become one of the aces for CJ Antis, but uh, honestly, I don't know a great deal about him. I've probably seen 10 or 15 of his games here and there, but I don't really have a very distinctive impression of his play. Um, I think I've seen him be impressive with in the late game with Hive Tech. We'll see if it gets to this it gets ah, excuse me gets to that point in this game whether we get to see him lay down some swarms. I think that's one of the things he's fairly good at. Um, uh, the player he's facing is actually someone I've never heard of before named Bogus, and uh, that opens up room for all sorts of uh, puns and, and insults and so forth, which I'm sure uh, you'll hear plenty of from Rise if, uh, if Bogus keeps playing and keeps getting commentated. But uh, I looked him up on Team Liquid, and he's actually uh, got a few games under his belt uh, and has done fairly well. He's 8-5 and five total. So 13 pro games, which is actually not that shabby, and he has a winning record in every matchup. Uh, 2-1 in ZVT, uh, or not ZVT, uh, TVT, 3-2 uh, in TVZ, which is the matchup he's playing now, and also 3-2 in t uh, TVP. So overall, uh, especially for uh, being such a newcomer, a uh, very impressive record, and uh, I'm always happy to see a new Terran out there performing well. Um, so, you know, who knows? This kid could be the next big thing, um, despite <laughs> calling himself bogus. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just false modesty or something. But uh, we'll see how he performs in this game. Uh, at any rate, uh, Effort is in the bottom right-ish corner, uh, the blue Zerg, and... Uh, in at about the nine o'clock position as the purple Terran is bogus. So uh, the map is Outsider. Uh, it's a relatively new map. I don't know all that much about it. Um, I think it's... Uh, well, I'll probably remember more about it as the game goes on. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the one that has sort of a weird third uh, that's a mineral only on one side and has a gas on the other and you can squeeze through the minerals and build a nexus or a command center or a hatchery or whatever on the other side and get the gas. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm remembering which map this is correctly, but but we'll see. I've, I've, uh, if it is that map, then there's uh, some fairly weird play that uh, gets to happen on it, and uh, players take advantage of of the structure of the map in some interesting ways. So, at any rate, uh, right off the bat, nothing too crazy. Um, Grace getting the scout off right away, um, but he's not going to see anything too interesting to begin with. Looks like he's going for a 12 hatch, uh, sending out another drone. Um, and what is that that's going down? Is it two racks build? Is that a second barracks going down? Um, 
something interesting coming from Bogus. Um, he's doing it right in the face of that drone. Yeah, two barracks. So uh, an ag aggressive early pressure sort of build from Bogus. Um, and I don't expect this to pay off all that well, given that it's been scouted immediately. Uh, he is going against a 12-hatch, but uh, even so, I'm sure Great's already put down his pool, or is, is just about to if he hasn't, and he'll have Lings out in time to defend any sort of early pressure. Um, maybe this is just to make it easier to expand. Uh, one SCV is in trouble, that SCV might get taken down, that'll be slightly significant if Great is able to kill off that SCV. Uh, Marine is out, so SCV should be okay. Um, yeah, and the drone's gonna get chased out. So, seeing the 12 hatch, she's got that SCV sitting there like he's gonna plop down a bunker. So, we might see some sort of late bunker rush. Well, we've seen a lot of, uh, not so much lately, but, uh, back when Flash was really playing well, is the, uh, eight racks into sort of a non-committal bunker rush, where the, uh, oh my god, SCVs being pulled, three Marines and about five SCVs coming off the line, so this is gonna be a very, uh, committed, committed uh, almost all-in bunker rush from Bogus. Very daring play from the newcomer. It looks like a sunken colony is going down. Uh, I don't know where that spawning pool is. Hopefully it's uh, close to being up. But the Marines are coming in already. Wow. Uh, very short distances on this map to cross. Now Zerglings are out. Uh, Zerglings are going to be... Uh, Oh man, SCV is defending well, but then oh, the Zerglings get past the SCVs and they're pushing the Marines back. Two Marines dead, the third Marine goes down, two more Marines coming up to reinforce, and uh, the Zerglings, uh, a few Zerglings are down, uh, and a bunker finally going down, but it's not going to be in range of that sunken colony. The sunken colony is up, I think this rush is going to fail. Yup, the rush fails, wow. Uh, bogus with a fairly bogus attempt at a bunker rush, and... He's well behind now. It looks like he cut some SCV production. At minimum, he had five or six of them off mining for about a minute to a minute and a half there. Um, and now he's going to have to pull back, and Great's still got all the economic advantages of that 12 hatch. So, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, <laughs> Bogus, we'll see. Uh, he, he may pull something out here, but he is, he's well behind from the get-go. Third hatchery going down. And yeah, it is... Uh, it is that map. Uh, so Bogus, it looks like, or great, excuse me, is taking the mineral-only side of that expansion. Um, but even so, he's going to be up a lot of economy very quickly. And I think the best thing that Bogus could do now is try to get an expansion up to uh, counter this economic advantage. He's, I, I'm not sure uh, how he's going to be able to do that very quickly. He's getting the academy down, so if he gets a group of medic marines out, uh, that should be enough to hold off the zergling pressure, but meanwhile, Grade is going to lair tech already, and will probably go mutalisks, I think. Um, and I, th I think that that will make it very hard for Bogus to pick up that expansion, because he's got to simultaneously upgrade his medic marines. He's getting a, an uh, engineering bay now, down now, so he'll be able to get turrets, and he'll probably get plus one attack on the marines, but he's gonna have to put down a bunch of turrets, in addition to the command center, and uh, get a good medic marine force out simultaneously um, to hold off all this pressure that's coming. Evolution chamber going down, so Great's gonna try to pick up some quick upgrades. A couple of medics out. Um, and uh, Bogus is going to have to do all of that on an economy that's uh, been on life support for the last little bit. So, I don't know. If he, if he can get that second base up and hold off the Mutilus Caras, then uh, he's still going to have a decent chance in this game. But uh, I think the next three or four minutes will decide whether that's going to be the case. Um, more of Sunken Colony is going down. Great playing very defensively. Um, I think more defensively than he needs to. Uh, this command center is going down now. Spire's going up, so it is going to be Mutalisks, I think. Uh, yeah, it's got to be Mutalisks. Uh, you wouldn't be building it just for Scourge or anything um, in a ZVT. So we are going to see Muta harass. Um, I think putting down those Sunken Colonies will uh, delay him a, a little bit, or co cost him a little bit of uh, that economic advantage. But... Uh, I think we'll still see a fairly effective Mutalist Caress. Um, 
and we'll see uh, how Bogus's timing is. He hasn't gotten a good scout on Great Space, I don't think, so he's not going to know for sure that that spire is going up. He's not going to know when the mutas are about to pop, so he's going to have to uh, basically trust his instinct to get up the turrets at the right moment to hold the mutalisks off, and if he mistimes that even by 15 or 20 seconds, that could be big trouble for him, too. Um, pretty good drone saturation at that third base. Factory going down now, so we're probably going to see quick tech to science vessels um, to get this uh, SK Terran ball really rolling and force those mutas back. A lot of Terrans, I think, uh, get themselves in trouble because when the mutas come, they haven't started on this route to science vessels at all. And so they're caught sort of constantly playing catch up uh, and, you know, they they have to plop down turrets and pump out medic marines and they never really have the resources to get out the tech that they need to finally put the kibosh on the mutilus caress. So if that factory's up and the starport's going up by the time the mutilus get here, um, then it won't be too long until their science vessels irradiate and the mutilisks 